Welcome back to Grassroots Media. Welcome back to this week's edition of the Malone's Record Service Evan Monroe Show, presented by Critters Corner, where we cover everything on the range with the West Green Buffaloes football team. As always, I'm here with head coach Evan Monroe, out here on the range once again. Absolutely. Starting to feel better. Not quite feeling like football weather yet, though, but we'll get there. We'll get there. It's not quite there yet, but give it another week or two, let that temperature drop a little more. Feel it's, real good. It's not 90. No. Not, this, this is... This is nice compared to yes. August and July. I'll, I'll take this every day. Nice breeze blowing. I have some people come up to me and they're like, well, why don't you do the interviews on that field? You do it on this field all the time. And I'm like, well, this field I do in the morning, so it's not as hot yet. Yeah. When I come here at the beginning of the season, week one, week two of the preview, <laughs> it's about 90 degrees outside. <laughs> yeah. and I don't think either me or you want to deal with that. No, I, I don't really want to sit outside in 90 degrees and just talk to you. This is about the best yeah. right here. Yeah, I can deal with this. I'd rather it snow than be 100 degrees. Uh, sometimes I wish the same. I'd, I got enough insulation to keep me warm. I'd, I'd rather be snowing than 100. Well, it wasn't quite snowing on the range this past week, but you had a game with Eagleton Academy, the second one in school history, or I guess head-to-head history, I guess you could say. And uh, they came out with another win, 37-15 to here on Friday night. Uh, Good three quarters of football, just one bad second quarter that put you behind the eight ball, and you couldn't recover with that lost ground. So, talk to me about the game on Friday night and kind of what went wrong in that matchup. You know, we come out, get a good stop on offense, or get a good stop on defense. Now, take a punt to the house, jump up seven nothing. I was like, all right, we're doing all right. They drive down, we stop them on third and third and medium. They kick a field goal, seven to three. Um, we kind of sit through that for a little bit, and then uh, Wills just kind of fell off the wagon. Uh, a couple missed assignments. Um, you know, we had a we were supposed to be a max protect. A guy leaked out, tight end leaked out for you know a pass route. They come right where he was, and uh, quarterback kind of threw one off his back foot and lofted it up in the air. Freshman quarterback, you're going to make mistakes. Uh, they housed it as a pick six, and then. Uh, we never could really get over that pick six. Uh, you know, I thought our defensive line played really well all, all night. Um, you know, the quarterback run game is all that really hurt us on the run game. When we read our keys and when he would just pull it and that be out the back door, uh, kind of hurt us a little bit. But, you know, overall defensive line played pretty well. Uh, I thought our secondary did a pretty good job containing the pass except for the one big – long bomb uh, that was a questionable should have been, could have not been pass interference, but it, you know, it was a no call, so, I, you know, it is what it is. Um, but overall, you know, we played a good three quarters of football. Um, but that second quarter, man, we just couldn't quite get back over that hump once we got down. It was a hard hump to get over. And I know you talked about the defensive line playing great all night. Uh, offense couldn't quite get going also. You had, of course, Austin Franklin that had two great touchdowns. And he's a spark plug, as we mentioned, where sometimes when you need instant offense, he'll give it to you with that punt return touchdown. And then he also had 76 rushing yards on the night and had a 75-yard rushing touchdown late in the fourth quarter also that added that second touchdown. So you had a great night out of him again. I know some injuries caused you to get banged up too, and that's gonna cause you to kind of shift things around going forward. So not gonna ask you to reveal any information going forward because of course you have other schools that watch, but with Austin Franklin out there, can you expect moving forward to him to get the ball a little bit more now? Oh yeah, you know, he's he's our spark plug. He's our guy. Yeah. Um, if you've watched any football from us in the past, this season, you understand that, hey, he's our guy. He's our dude. Every team has dudes. He's our dude. Um, you know, the Eagleton's dude was the quarterback in number 44. Um, and so we did a pretty decent job of shutting everything else down, but we let their dudes beat us. Yeah. Um, so this week, you know, we, we've got to shuffle some things around. You know, we're down one, two, three, four starters right now. And most of them are two-way guys. So, you know, when you're, you're down four guys that are two-way guys that are key components, yeah, um, you, you got to shuffle some things around, man. It makes it tough. It's the joys of small school football. It's Absolutely. Just, it's next man up mentality, but sometimes you go for the next man, and there's not quite a next man there. 
you know, we're, we're moving some guys up from JV that typically would just be JV guys but are going to have to rotate in and give us some meaningful reps this week in a Friday night game. So uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a big week for those young guys to step up and see if we can get them ready for a Friday night this week. And I know I asked you after the cloud and loss, what kind of adjustments do you make going forward and how do you bounce back and respond to that loss? But this week, I don't know if it's necessarily the same type of conversation because you played a good game of football. It was just the second quarter, I think, was what caught you. So I don't necessarily know if it's to ask you, like, what kind of things do you want to correct because I think it was just one bad quarter of football in that instance. You know, the there's always going to be things to nitpick as a coach. Uh, Even in big wins, there's still things that you need to yeah, correct. It wouldn't matter if we won, you know – to Tennessee versus Kent State and won 71 to nothing. Yeah. I'm sure Josh Hopple found something to nitpick about and film this week. Um, it don't matter what it is, you're going to, as a coach, your details are important. You're going to be able to sit and find something to nitpick about. Absolutely. Um, but for us this week, it's a lot of it's going to be let's just try to get healthy, uh, take care of some guys through the week and get them ready for Friday. Uh, you know, there's a couple guys that are kind of day to day that are hopeful for Friday, but they're questionable right now. Um, so we're, we're, we're beat up. You know, we've played some pretty physical football teams so far. And, you know, lingering, nagging things have turned into full-blown problems. Uh, you know, so we're, we're working on trying to get some guys healthy. Uh, you know, we got Unicoi coming into town this week. Um, they're a pretty darn good football team, so – It'll be interesting for us to try to get us healthy and get us ready to go for Friday. We'll talk about that on the back half, though. I think that puts a cap on the first half, unless there's anything else you'd like to mention. Nope. We'll talk about Unicoi County in the second half. But first, as always, we need to get a word from our sponsors in first. So stay tuned. We'll talk about Unicoi right next or right back. I don't know what I'm trying to say. We'll be right back <laughs> after these messages here on the range here on Grassroots Media. For more than 30 years, Tommy's Plumbing has served customers in East Tennessee with licensed and professional plumbing services. From installing your new faucet to replacing your existing piping system, our team at Tommy's Plumbing is trained to handle the job with professionalism, attention to detail, and integrity. By offering warranties on most products installed by our technicians, Tommy's Plumbing stands behind our work, ensuring that your plumbing needs are not only met, but that your problem is solved for the long term. When you need reliable and professional plumbing service, Tommy's is the only call to make. So give us a call today and let us show you the Tommy's difference. Pizza Inn offers contactless buffet to go with JoJo's Family Feast or anything on our menu for carryout. We also honor birthday parties and cater to businesses and large events. We make it easy. Call us today. Pizza Inn Greenville. Welcome back to Grassroots Media. Welcome back to this week's edition of the Malone Tracker Service Evan Monroe Show, presented by Critters Corner, where we cover everything here on the range with the West Green Buffaloes football team. As always, I'm joined here with Coach Evan Monroe. That intro was better than the outro of the first yes, half. Yes, right it was. There. Much better this time. Uh, talk to me about Unicoi County this Friday night. I know they'll be traveling down here to the range. You traveled up there last year to, I think it's called Gentry Stadium. Yeah. Nice facility. They've done a Very lot of work nice. up there recently that has made it look real nice. They'll be traveling down here to play you all on Friday night. Very formidable opponent. I think today the new rankings were released and they're ranked sixth in the state in Class 3A. So one of the tougher, maybe the toughest football teams that you'll square off with through this young season. So talk to me about what you expect on Friday night. They're good. Like, there's no beating around yes. the bush. They, they didn't lose much from last year, and they were pretty good last year. Um, they, they have all their skill guys back, so it'll be a tough challenge for us to uh, – stay disciplined and not get beat over the top and make sure we're lining up knowing our responsibilities. Um, you know, eight number eight, he's their go-to stud, and I don't blame him. If I had a stud like that, I'd go to him all the time too. Um, so for us, it'll be a, it'll be a game where we're we're trying to make it a ball game. You know, it'll be it'll take a lot for us to make it a ball game. Yeah, uh, they're they're a darn good football team. Um, so the goal Friday night is go be a competitor, go compete, go show that we can hang with these big big boys, go the, these schools that are ranked in 3A. You know, it's a challenge for us to say, hey, we went and gave a 3A school that's ranked in the state all they wanted. Uh, you know, we've laid some goose eggs so far this year. Um, 
we've not put a full four quarters together yet. So for us, the, the challenge this week is let's put a full four quarters together. Let's not have any stupid penalties, no stupid mistakes. Let's take care of the football and let's go play a game and give ourselves a chance. It's been a while since I personally have watched Unicoi County play. The last time I'd watched them play, they had Nehemiah Edwards at running back, who was running all over the field. They were a very ground-heavy team back then whenever I watched them when he was a junior and senior. I haven't seen them last year or this year. Can you expect kind of the same? Are they still a very run-heavy team? Uh, they're, they're a little more balanced. Okay. Um, they, they've got athletes all over the field, so they like to spread it out and throw it to whatever athlete they want, let them go try to make a play. Um, they don't have a true oh, – I say that, but um, they're pretty big up front, good, strong, big, strong line, uh, athletes all over the field. There's a reason they're ranked in the state. Absolutely. They're, they're a pretty good football team. So um, it'll take us going and playing a darn good football game for four quarters to make sure that we give ourselves a chance because they can score and they can score in a hurry. So – with your offense a little bit banged up too, I'm not sure they'll quite know what to expect now because you'll be shifting some things around too. But when they come out defensively, what do you think they're going to throw at you to try to contain your offense and slow you down? Uh, they they like a four man front, okay, uh, kind of a four two five look. Uh, got some rangy guys on the back end that can go make plays. So uh, it'll be interesting for us to see if we can get some movement up front because they're they're solid on the D line. Linebackers fly around, make plays. So uh, for us, it'll be can we can we throw some misdirection their way? Can we put some motions in and put some guys in conflict and uh, kind of game plan? Can we come up with to give ourselves a good chance to go make some plays? And as always, too, end of every interview, you've got three keys to the game that you need to carry out to beat a team on Friday night. You've got Unicoi this week. What are your three keys to that game? Uh, take care of the football. That's been a big one for us. Turnovers have killed us this year. Um, I don't know what the turnover margin is, but I know we're on the wrong side of it. So it's hurt us several games this year. Um, you know, when you don't take care of the football, and it's hard to score when you don't have it. Yeah. Your defense gets worn out because uh, they're on the field the whole time. Um, second key is uh, eliminate the eliminate penalties. We were better this week, but still a few too many. Um, so. We, we can take care of that and make sure we're still doing what we're supposed to do there and not argue and bicker and uh, just boneheaded things that cause problems for us. You know, the Friday night we were driving and we end up getting a 15 yard penalty. Yeah. Kills you. It's, it's a drive killer. Yes, it is. It's a drive killer. Instead of, you know, first and f or second and three or four, it's now first and 20. And, or second and 20. There's not, not a lot in the playbook for that. Um, so for for us, it's eliminate those eliminate those penalties, and the third one, as always, score more points, score than, the more other points than the other team. Absolutely. Uh, you know we've only done that twice this year, so I'd like to do that a third time Friday night. And it'd be a big confidence boost to do it over this team too. Yes, it would. Um, like I said, Unicoi is a pretty darn good football team, so uh, for us it'll be a good challenge to see what we can, how we can stack up, and how we can compete, and. Uh, you know, who knows, ball bounce our way right once or twice. Make it an interesting game. That'd be fun to see. I hope so. He just walked back inside too, but we need to get a an appearance from Mason on this show sometime. There he is again. He still won't come on the show with us. No. It, Big Tune is like, kind of like the Loch Ness Monster. You hear a lot about him, but you never really see him. No, you don't. He don't even pay attention to us too. He don't even know we're talking about him. Nope, not a clue. Even if we asked him, he wouldn't even come on here right now either. Hey, Tuna, you want to come on the show? See, See, still turning us down. Still turning us down. Shout out to Tuna, though. He watches every single show, no matter what it is, who it is. He still watches every single one of them. Does he? He might be Grassroots' number one fan. That is, that's what I'm talking about. But he still won't come on any of the shows. <laughs> that's all right. He's just a viewer. That's okay. The number one spectator. Best manager out there. Best manager around. Biggest Tennessee fan you'll find, too. Absolutely. Coach, that's all I've got for you this week. Absolutely love being out here on the range with you. Thank you for talking to me once again. No problem. Thank you all for watching this week's edition of the Malone's Record Service Evan Monroe Show presented by Critter's Corner. Look forward to seeing you all next time here on Grassroots Media. Go Buffs.